Today I will show you how to create a score, a visible score on your stage which goes up by one every time a particular event occurs. And the particular event that we are going to have occur will be a robot um, touching a fish. <laughs> So let's start off by calling our robot, robot, for the sake of clarity. And by titling our project, um, score keeping. Okay. The first thing I need to do is add a second actor to the stage and I'll add the fish. Now, as we know, um, Tinker gives you some default code whenever you add an actor to your stage from its library. And there's nothing wrong with the code for <clears throat> the robot, but the code we've been given for the fish is a little problematic because as you can see down the bottom, the fish is programmed to hide every single time it touches anything. So if we just play our short, yeah, there we go. The fish has disappeared. So let's get rid of our hide command. And instead, what we would like to have happen is for the fish to broadcast the message, to, to broadcast the fact that it has hit the robot every time it hits it. So it will be broadcasting a message and we can choose that message. It can be whatever you like. And in this case, we're going to say that we would like the fish to broadcast the message hit. Because if it broadcasts the message hit, then we can have a score up here which receives that message. And when it receives that message, it increases the score by one. So let's do that. So we have our fish. When touching robot, broadcast broadcast hit. So it's like the fish is calling out the word hit. Now we need a variable to receive that message. So let's go back to our blocks and click on the variables tab and add a variable. We'll call this variable score and we'll make it visible to all actors. And when the game resets, we'll have that variable go back to zero. Now, in order to make this variable visible on the stage, we have to click on that variable and add a watcher. So as you can see, now that I've added the watcher, that variable is visible on our stage and we can put it wherever we'd like. So let's pop it up the top and make it a little larger. But at the moment, our variable isn't receiving that fish's message. So we have to put code in to make sure it does that. And we do that by putting the when I receive button uh, block and specifying what exactly it is that we want it to receive. And there's only one thing being broadcast at the moment in our game. So we'll click that one. When I receive hit, when I hear the word hit, which we know which we know is being broadcast by the fish, then we would like the variable that we created to contain our score, we would like that variable to increase by positive one. So we will use the change variable, uh, sorry, the change block change score by one. 
So let's have a look and see how this looks. And we've just got one appearing now and let's see if we can see two. And there's two. And this will continue indefinitely until you put some some code in there to, to tell the program when to stop.